Hi guys, this is the first video of my quickie tutorial series for Excel. This is going to be different from the ones I release on Tuesday in that this will be quick and there may not be a workbook attached to this tutorial. So the purpose of this is to give you bite-sized tips for Excel. And we're going to start off with how to get reference arguments for any function in Excel, including UDFs that you create yourself. As we all know, those are a real pain because it doesn't give you the little hints when you go to input it. So here we've got a UDF that I've created and you can see all the input arguments. I didn't type those in by hand. I'm going to show you the awesome trick to get them. But first, let me show you. If you, for instance, start doing a VLOOKUP, hit TAB, you get these lovely little arguments down here. It tells you what you're inputting, so you know how to input it. You know what to input where, basically. But if we go to do a UDF, a user defined function, it does not help you, and it's a real pain. And there are some complex ways to give you some tips on what to do with UDFs, but most of the time, it's going to say nothing. So the awesome way to get around this, control, shift, A, bam. Now you have the name of every argument you must input for your UDF, control, shift, A. So all you do, start typing the UDF or complete it. But you know, once it gets highlighted, you can just hit tab. Then on the inside of the open parentheses, control, shift, A. And the life is awesome. We can go ahead and select for this argument, go to the second argument, delimiter, okay, it's going to be a dash, word position, let's see, I want to get number two, let's get A1, hit enter, perfect, A1. Now this also works with regular functions, so if you were doing the V lookup, you don't like this little guy down here, it's a little hard to see, whatever, just hit control shift A. Now we've got all of our arguments. Select your lookup value, go to your table array, and just double click to select the entire argument. It is so easy, so awesome. Now, one thing I want to note is when you are doing this on UDFs, the argument names, in case you have not guessed right here, they are the same as the name of the arguments within the UDF itself. So if I hit Alt F11 to go, well, let me escape, Alt F11 to go to my UDF, get word. This is the name of the argument as it will appear for the user. But remember, if you change the name up here to be a little bit more descriptive, as I actually did with this one here, word underscore position, you do need to make sure that you change those references within the macro or UDF itself. So this also had to be changed, this also had to be changed, and this also had to be changed. So if you now want to make your argument names a bit more descriptive, just remember to update your UDF accordingly. And that's it for this Excel quickie.